us, there seems to be quite a lot of chaos. And we are not happy with the kind of um, on the chorus, uh, dishonorable uh, behavior we see in parliament. We need to bear in mind that this is not a bad thing. It is not a bad thing for parliament to scrutinize and hold the executive to account. And the ultimate test of holding somebody to account is to look in the person's face and say no. In our history, we've had this happen once, and we took the wrong view. And the wrong view was that we should connect parliament to the executive so that these things don't happen. I am one of the people who believe that we should stop connecting parliament to the executive and have a parliament which is purely about legislation and oversight and make sure that our parliament is capable and actually acts to be a check on the executive. Failure to do that creates a lot of problems. So my preliminary view is that there's a lot we can say, but we should not lose fact of the fact that this is parliament at its best, doing its job and making sure that it holds the executive to account and forces them to do things right. This is also the answer to those who complain about a winner takes all. When you have a situation like this where the minority effectively is going to have a say and determine somehow what happens you know, in the executive's budget, then you cannot claim that you have a winner takes all. So I'd like us to keep in mind that this is not a bad thing and indeed we should improve on it. Minority will always have their say. The bigger issue is that they always don't have their way. So why are you happy that they can have a say? Just a say? No. I'm saying this is an example of where the minority can have more than a say. Because indeed, when you have a situation like this, and if we had parliament acting like this with this kind of power, then you have a situation where you don't have a winner takes all, you don't have a minority which just has its say, but the minority can stop the budget, can force changes in the budget, and can force the executive to go in a certain direction which they otherwise would not go to.